welcome to my channel. This is Crystal. Let's get started with our first move chest lifter. Lay on your back, bottoms of the feet together, knees out. Interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. Take an inhale, then exhale, bring your head and chest up. Inhale down, exhale up. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. Use your breath to find your way into the tempo that feels right for you. Slow or fast, just coordinate the movements with your breath. Continue with your own pace. Now last five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now bring your knees together, rock and roll up to seated. Set up for the next core squeezer. Put your hands behind under the shoulder, fingertips facing top of the mat. Bring the knees to the chest. Inhale, extend the legs out and bend the elbows. Exhale, bring the knees back to chest while straightening the elbows. Inhale, legs straight, arms bent. Exhale, sit up and squeeze tight. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Bring the soles of the feet together, toes forward, heels in. Grab the feet with your hands. Take an inhale, lift up, and exhale, come down. Hold it here. Give your belly muscles a tiny little break. Come back up. Now let's move on to the steady boat. Grab your outer knees, close your knees together, float the shins off the ground. Extend the hands straight out in front of you, chest up, head back. Hold it here to strengthening the transverse abdominis. If you want to add more challenge, straight your legs up. Now bring your hands together, interlace all the fingers except the indexes. Then go ahead, twist all the way over towards the right keeping your breath steady. I know it's hard, but let's get it through with a big smile on your face. Very good. Now let's stroke it all the way over to the left. Steady breath, steady mind, finding that stillness in the center of the storm. Now come back to the middle, spread the hands a little wider, take an inhale, lift everything up, exhale, come all the way down to the back. Grab your shin, squeeze the knees in for a moment. Give your lower back a little rock side by side. Let's move on to the next single leg twist. Legs straight out. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. On the exhale, right leg up. Both arms reach to the right, twisting and lifting. Inhale, down. Exhale, other side. Move with your own pace. Continue to flow with your breath. Don't try to beat yourself up. Do what you can do. And gradually over time, your muscles will start adapting. It will become a more and more of an easy thing. Last 
five, four, three, two, and one. Now both legs up. Reach and hold. Very good. The next is side reach. Bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, width of the hips. Lift the chest up and reach your hand from side to side. We're strengthening the side abdominals. Keep that chest up and keep switching side to side. Start to feel that burn. Chest that burn. It is called solar plexus because this is where the solar energy resides. Keep pulsing side to side. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now grab the shin, squeeze. Then rock and roll all the way up. Let's move on to the next plank. Get down onto your belly. Forearms on the mat. Interlace your fingers in front of you, or keep your hands flat. The width of your shoulders. Form a straight line from your crown to the heels. Let's stay here for 60 seconds. See if you can just hold it here. Extend back through your heels. Reach out through your heart. Drive down through your forearms. You're not sitting into those shoulders. Keep your breath long and steady. Use your breath as a tool to give you the fuel to strengthen. That abdominal area strengthen that core stabilizing muscles. We're almost done. Hanging there. Now last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now release the belly down onto the ground. Push up to extend your heart forward, feeling the stretch from your abdominal walls. The next move is mountain climber. Shift your hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Press up to upper push plank. From here, inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Press back, inhale, set it down. Exhale, left foot, inhale, left knee, left arm. Exhale, press back, inhale, then set it down. Exhale. Keep your moves with steady breath. Couple rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now release all the way down to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Two more of these. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down. Now come to hands and knees. Get ready for next move, bicycle. Crawl your knees to the top of the mat. 
Cross those feet. Release down all the way onto your back. Put your knees towards your chest. Shin parallel to the mat. Fingers behind head and neck. Take an inhale, then exhale. Right leg kicks out straight while touching your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, back to middle. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, left leg straight. Now on your own. This move helps us get into the whole abdominal wall, the lower, the middle, the upper side of your dominance. Remember, you can always move with your rhythm and tempo that feels right. Now, last twenty seconds. Time to fire it up. Make sure you're not cranking your head and neck. Let those abdominal muscles do all the work. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now legs straight up to the sky. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees into the chest. Roll back and forth. Now let's move on to the last active pose: bridge. Both feet flat on the floor, width of the hips. Lift those hips up high. Interlace fingers underneath. Use your feet as the anchor to lift the hips higher. Chest up, shoulders down. Hold it here for 30 seconds. Breathe deep and steady. Last stretch and lift. Then release all the way back down. Shavasana. Arms on the side, palms up. Feet split open naturally. Take a few moments here to feel the vibrance in your core. If you can do all those contracting and squeezing through the belly every day, like what you just did in the past ten minutes. You definitely will be ready for bathing suit season. All right, we made it. You can sit up or stay in shavasana as long as you need it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get stronger and beautiful every week. Thank you for practicing with me today. This is the end of today's 10 minutes core workout. Be consistent and be inspired. I'll see you next time soon. Bye.